MacLover65, and I have been requested to do kind of my spring trends, where it is clothes in my closet that I'm going to be using for spring, and I will just let you guys know right now, I do not have all of my spring clothes yet, usually I go spring shopping probably around like the end of March to the beginning, I mean the end of February to the beginning of March since most of everyone's stores are having all of their spring stuff come in. So this is kind of just like what I have that I'm going to use towards the beginning of spring and also some of the stuff that I had from last year. And today I kind of incorporated um, my, in my look today kind of like a trend buns are in quite a bit and I didn't really like put any embellishments on it I just kind of left it how it is and I twisted my bangs if you want to see how I did this leave a comment in the down bar below but I'm just going to show you some of my clothes that kind of fall into the spring trend so let's go ahead and I want to touch down on nail polish now I get my nails done every single two weeks I have to show you my new nails they are zebra and pink isn't that just the coolest thing ever so it's patterns and bright colors, so I just incorporated spring trends in one look. I had my nail technician do it, but for my toes, I always paint my toes myself, and for um, light nails are in like pastel colors, and this is in French Affair by Essie, and it's just the perfect like pastel color. And then you have Shopping Frenzy, which would be that bright pop of color, and this is from Sephora, and I think that they still have this. And then you have for like glitter and things that you could do with like different patterns. You have last, uh, you have Teenage Dream by the Katy Perry collection and it's just like a bunch of glitter and stuff. So those would be the three polishes that I would pick out to put on my toes for fall. But now we will get... First dress is a kind of like a cold shoulder top. This goes over your shoulder like so. And I got this at BB and it just kind of has like a zigzag pattern down the body of the dress and it's got like this metallic looking um, material. Now this I don't think they have anymore but you can get something quite similar to this and the, I wear a lot of dresses because I go to a lot of different events that require dresses. Um, now this right here would be the trend for different colors of whites. Um, different colors of whites and creams are very in and I got this at um, black and white last year and it's just a gorgeous very elegant style dress with different patterns on it. It's got the flow print up top and kind of like a different pattern. I don't know if you can see that pattern, but a very lacy pattern. So I love this dress and it looks very, very, very elegant on. And I'm just showing you my dresses first. I got this dress at Nordstrom in the petite department. It's kind of like pleats and everything. You have to be careful with pleats because they can make you look heavier in spots that you don't want to be heavy in. But it looks like this and it's green and it's just like this gorgeous color and it's kind of like the, a knit kind of fabric so it's just a very nice casual dress and then the last dress is from a little boutique that I go to quite a bit and it is just um, kind of like this purpley fabric kind of a bluish purple and it's a one shoulder one shoulders are very very in I have another dress that's a one shoulder but I didn't bring it upstairs so I'll insert a picture in but it looks like this and it's just got like these nice flower colors and it's purple and it's just a perfect link. So next we just have some skirts that I'm going to show you. This, um, these skirts I got at the Nordstrom Junior Department and they're just a bunch of just funky patterns and bold colors and I absolutely adore them. And I'll put like a black uh, jacket with it with like the color of cami that matches this. I also got this at the junior department. It's just kind of this like fun mosaic design. And I really, really like that. Now the Roaring Twenties are in. And this kind of dress is like a Roaring Twenties style dress. Because it's just very, very straight as you can see. But there's some like this fun design up here. And has like a nice little belt that goes around it. Which I absolutely love this dress. And I'll wear that to some different events. And now this dress has to be like one of my all-time favorite dresses. It's so feminine and so girly and very, very lacy. And that's a big, big trend in this year is lace. As you can see that this is all lace and it's got some fun patterns. And the dress part is like lace and the bottom has lace on it. So it's absolutely gorgeous. And if you look at the back, it's all lace too. And I got this at the little boutique that I go to quite a bit. And black and white is in as well. So this is like one of the black and white tops I wear like in March, kind of at the beginning of spring when it's cold. But it is a like um, an off the shoulder kind of top. You wear it like this. 
and it's black and white. And I actually got this from black and white, so this top would fall into like the glitter category because it's just like a nice iridescent kind of look. This is the front of the shirt. This shirt was very expensive because all of these beads were hand sewn. I also got this from the little boutique that I always go to, but it's absolutely gorgeous and it's a see-through top, so I wear it with like kind of a long sleeve shirt, but it's gorgeous and I have to be very careful with it because beads have already come off of it and I was really, really sad. But this top is gorgeous and it's very, very heavy but I really, really in and I actually got this like mesh top at Express. As you can see, it's like a mesh top and I absolutely love this and I wear this during, I've actually worn this during the winter time because we've had some really warm days where I live, but then I can also put like a long sleeve shirt with it to warm it up like if it's too cold and I can wear this into spring and I actually also got this at a little boutique that I go to a lot and it's lace and I love lace and lace is in this year too and I'm so excited that it's in because I absolutely love wearing this but it's just like this very lace florally pattern shirt and I love it oh my gosh I love it so much and this top I actually got last at the very end of spring no I actually got it at the beginning of this year and um it looks kind of like a bat shirt, I would call it, and it's also another lacy top. It's very feminine, very girly. I love, like, the vintage lace look. kind of has, like, frayed out, like, sequins, and it's lacy, and it's gorgeous, and I just absolutely love this top. I know I'm not going in order of, like, the trends, but I just kind of grab clothes out of my closet. Of course, I, act, I do wear everything in my closet, but these are just the trends that are this year, but I will wear everything else. Now this I got at the Nordstrom Junior Department. I actually kind of like bohoed it up, kind of hippie-ish style with this fringe jacket, but I can take this off. And this is kind of like the lacy doily pattern, which I love. So, I mean, what I love about the Junior Department at Nordstrom's is it is very reasonably priced and you can actually get some really cute, unique clothes. Now these two next tops are exactly the same, but they're different colors. I have not taken the tags off of them yet. But they're from Nordstrom, and they have kind of like that glitter-esque, kind of like liquid-looking kind of thing. And I just couldn't find a shirt that really goes with this yet, especially during wintertime. But I cannot wait to wear it during spring. As you can see, they're very, very sparkly and awesomeness. So I cannot wait to wear those. And then I got this at the little boutique that I go to. And this is also another mesh kind of top, as you can see. And I absolutely love mesh and like it's kind of like a fish netting kind of thing. But it's absolutely gorgeous and I really, really, really love it. So I usually put some like short camis underneath that normally. I just dropped it. The thing that I have is also from the little boutique and it's vintage. And it's kind of like this lacy frilly thing and it has lace at the bottom so I felt like it could go with the lace kind of stuff but as you can see like right here it's got lace layers and it's frilly and it's girly and it's just like a little vest that I like to put with some long sleeve shirts that I have so yes but I love 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 this and it's so cute. Wobble wanted to show you her little spring fashion too she had her little dress on today and it's just like this little pleats with this little heart and it's like her little party dress but now you turn around and it looks like this so we put her in clothes because she gets cold, but this dress is really cute. So it has like two little princess shirts. She has a princess shirt that just looks like this. And then she also has, it's my party and I'll bark if I want to. You like your little shirt? She likes her little shirt. And then she also has a little sweater and it's a little turtleneck. And she also has like two little jackets. She also had another dress, but I can't find it. But anyway, um, these were my little fashions that I have. I'm gonna put her down. These were just some of my spring fashions, and of course, I'm going to be getting some different clothes as spring approaches, but these are just some of the clothes that I have right now that I'm going to be using at the beginning of spring, so I hope you guys like them. Please leave a comment below if you want me to do a look. Go watch my uh, spring trend video, which I'll link in the down bar below. I'm also going to link my Twitter link, so please follow me on Twitter, like the video, and please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And there are tons more videos to come, so keep requesting them. So I have things to do, and I will see you guys later.